Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. I want to play today with Fenty Beauty. I actually got last year as a gift, a gift card to spend at Fenty Beauty for quite a substantial amount. And just recently in their friends and family sale, I decided to splurge and pick up everything that I ever wanted to try from Fenty, including the skin tint. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this will be now the fifth time I'm using this product. This is really my last shot with it. And so I'm, I'm going to try to take everything I've learned from applying it over the last few days and try to see if the corrections yield a better result. So I'm going to hydrate my face with the Ember Lee's Lay Concentrate. Now I'm using this because this is the stuff that makeup artists use. This is the most emollient product without being greasy. And I need some help with this product because it has looked so terrible on all my dry patches. I've exfoliated, but I'm determined to make it work. Once I know the key to making it work, then if it works, then I'll just remember the key to it. I just haven't found the key and I have watched at least two dozen videos. I've tried my hands, I've tried a brush, I've tried with primer, without primer, I've tried uh, a sponge, I've tried a light layer, a heavier layer, uh, pressing it in, uh, I've tried it all, I've tried it all. And I, you know, I have to say, I don't think I'm an idiot when it comes to makeup, so I shouldn't have to try this hard to make this work. So I'm really hoping that this will be the moment. Also, just so you know what else I'm playing with, cream bronzer, these cream uh, lip tints, a long wear lipstick, highlighter, a gloss, another shade of the uh, cheek, cheek out product. I have also their powder and I picked up an eyeliner. So I have quite a few products, I think, I think pretty much to make a full face. I tried to get my my dollar to go very, very far. I'm going to just pick up my hair because this battle is real. But wish me luck. So I think that outside of really being hydrated, I'm going to try Fenty's suggestion of just putting this directly onto my skin and blending with my fingers. And on the other side, I'm going to use Mel Thompson's suggestion of applying it with a sponge. I sort of dragged it. These aren't big globs of product because I learned that that's not the best thing. And I know it looks a little light right now, but it's really not that light. Maybe I did over apply a little bit. That's okay. I'll just bring it over to the other side. Cover my nose. Oh, now I'm covering everything with this. I applied too much. I've tried the sponge alone, so that hasn't really worked. So maybe actually a hybrid makes sense and I'm really warming up the product. So it does, a, it does give some coverage, just not a lot of coverage, but it is brightening. Now with that embroilies underneath, I feel like it's moving properly. Before I applied it and it would get like stuck. And I'm wondering if I wasn't using a, a primer that was hydrating enough. The last few times that I've applied it, it felt very tight and dry. And I'm just gonna check in a mirror and see how this is looking. Oh, okay. You know what? This is looking actually quite nice. I think we figured out the formula, people. Wait, wait, I don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe it because I've been in this place before where I thought it, it's worked. Let me take my mirror. I have like a magnifying mirror. So it's still catching onto my dry spots, but I feel like it's still wet enough that I can move it around. I thought that this was going to be my final application of this product and now I'm thinking maybe I'm going to give it one more shot and just apply a little less because I do think I maybe over applied a little bit but right now it's very creamy. It's creamy but it's creamy because of the embroilies. I know that for a fact but I think that's looking really nice and you see this is a good shade match for me. I'm quite 
pale right now. I don't know. I don't know. Can I still be on the fence about this? Five times I'm still on the fence about this. Maybe I'll just use my sponge to press into it a little bit. Maybe that helps. This product is not the product that I thought it was going to be where it was going to be uh, I don't have to think about it when I'm using it kind of product. Then hasn't been the case. I'm going to be using number two Butter Biscuits. So this is the cream bronzer. I already had this in my collection. It's a really pretty color. It's not too, too pigmented for fair skin, but it, and I'm using my e.l.f. stipple brush, which is one of my favorite. I want to love everything Fenty comes out with because I just think as a brand, their look is so cohesive. Everything looks modern, like everything looks like the way I imagine makeup would look in the future. I was talking to my sister about that, like just feels like a brand that's really carving out their own and not but not feeling like unapproachable and it feels like it's a brand for everyone which i really adore what else do i have for the face i have matchsticks i have a couple of matchsticks one i had for a while it's the amber which is this contour shade i don't usually contour maybe we'll contour today a little bit this is a step i I never do. I never do. I just usually contour with my bronzer. But even though that contour stick feels so stiff, it moves so well. Like it blends really easily without a lot of issue. I think that looks pretty good. I have um, this other, this shade, Chili Mango. I love this. This I just got, and it's such a happy, like, coral shade. It looks much more intimidating in the container. And I just use my, my brush and I just sort of go back and forth on it till it picks up enough product and then I will stamp it all along. And it's just such a very, like, refreshing sort of color. And like completely unique. I love that I have a color like this in my collection. Isn't that pretty? I had already in my collection two of the cream blushes. I adore these blushes. I love the size. I love that they're small. I know people complain, but I don't complain. I think they're perfectly sized. So I have the shade Rose Latte, which is sort of like a brownie shade. Brownie rosy shade. This is really pretty because... This one, if you like a more kind of sunburnt look, you can add this closer to your bronzer and it creates like such a, a nice level of depth. It's like a great blush for people who hate blush. And you can even carry this also around the hairline because it has like a reddishy tone to it, pinkish reddishy. So it can make for actually probably a really good bronzer on certain skin tones. The next shade I have is Bikini Martini. I know this shade is not for everybody, but I love this shade. I love this shade, it's this shade here. And again, this is not a shade that's that, intim it's intimidating if you look at it like this, but when you sheer this out, it's just the prettiest pink, just bright, cool tone pink and I love that. I love that about it. But the shade that I just picked up from my little mini haul was Strawberry Drip and that's this shade here. I'm gonna put some of that one on and I'm just gonna put that on the apples on my cheeks. And I love this color. My sister had originally purchased this color a long time ago and when I used it in her house once, I, I lost my mind. I just, I realized. This had to be my color. It's just like a perfect flush. I just feel like very like, I just worked out. I've just been in the sun for a little bit, running errands. It just kind of transports you. So I, I really like that. I have a, a little mini fussy. I really love this lip gloss. I mean, her lip glosses are iconic, iconic. 
Um, but I just wanted to put that one on while I finish getting ready. I am going to put on eyebrows next because I feel a little bare. I rediscovered my love for the KVD Brow Struck. I have mine in medium. This powder is just so good. It's so easy, effortless to put on. It has these wonderful little speckles of sparkle that give your eyebrow such nice dimension without being like obviously sparkly. And look at that. I feel like I'm done. I don't have to fuss. I mean, maybe like I could fuss a little bit, but one dip and I'm done. I just forgot how easy it is to work with this powder. There's actually a useful mirror in here. You get yourself a real good brush and a brow powder and you're good. And the wear time is great on it. It doesn't like fade. Instantly, I feel more done. More done by having just eyebrows on. I'm just going back to this. Let's see how this goes on my eyes, just to give my eyes a little something. Oh, that doesn't look half bad. I'll do a lip swatch of all the lippies I got. The other product I got was, it came with the Fussy. This came in a set. So it was fussy with this diamond bomb in how many carats? And it's this really beautiful, sparkly, sparkly, wet, 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 wet. It feels almost oily and it's just pure sparkle. Now, this is not something I would ever put on on my cheeks normally, but I will for today because I know we don't all do our makeup the same way. And it, it's like this, like from afar, it looks beautiful. It's this super wet looking, gloss looking kind of thing. But up close, it is just glitter. I mean, it is just glitter. But we're just having fun with makeup right now. So I'm going to do things I normally don't do. I would wear this even as a highlighter for like a fancy event or something. I would probably wear it on my body too. It is really pretty and the the texture is so, so, so oily. It just feels really, really luscious. I mean, yeah, that's like a very wet, wet glow. I wanted to try something. So I'm going to be using some of the Too Faced Glitter Glue because I wanted to put that diamond bomb on my lids. But I wanted a sticky base because I've done this already once and ended up with glitter all over my face. Which, well, glitter is all over my face right now, so that wouldn't be a too terrible of a look. Let's just take some precautions. So I'm gonna just take my finger and apply that onto oh my god i knew i was gonna love this on the eyes so this is how i would use this product for sure i adore a real sheer glitter on the eye and this is exactly what this is this reminds me of a product that i used to have by victoria beckham she collabed with estee lauder and it was this topper shade that was magnificent and I feel like this is very similar to that. The problem with that topper shade was it dried out in a matter of months. And I spent so much money on it. I was so angry. This, on the other hand, this looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm so happy I did that because I'm going to be putting on, as a last lippy that I'm going to do today, it's going to be the red liquid lipstick and I wanted something very light and ethereal for the eyes. I did want to show this wonderful eyeliner. I've been playing with this. So this is the Fly Pencil Long Wear in the shade Moon Dunes. And it's sort of this like gray taupe color. So I'm gonna apply that in 
kind of like make a little fake wing from it. I probably maybe would have done a some liner first and then applied the whole topper because it was just a little hard for it to adhere to my eye. But I really love this color. It's this real pretty metallic taupey gray. Really, really like it. Especially if you want a little bit of something on your eye to make it look really, I don't know, pronounced. Or no, you know what? I'm realizing I'm looking very dewy. So I'm thinking this is this is the skin tint. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and use some of the Fenty powder. I picked this up in the shade 120. Now I will never apply powder with this puff into the face. No, that will, that will never be me. So you can go check out another channel that does it that way. Um, I don't like heavy powder application and I wouldn't I wouldn't be using this as a foundation necessarily. I wanted to just use it as a pinpointed finishing powder. So I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just gonna lightly powder around my nose. It's a really nice powder. I, I'll, I'll give it that. If you're a powder fan, you probably would like this. Gosh, I used to, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I used to just wear MAC Studio Fix, which was the heaviest powder on the planet, but my skin could tolerate it. I had very oily skin, hormonal skin, and yeah, it could, it could tolerate that level of intensity. Now my skin, even with the lightest powdering sometimes, it looks so cakey. But I really love this brush because it just lets me maneuver just where I need it to go. It already looks still very luminous, so it didn't dull down, but it doesn't look heavy, heavy on the skin. I'm going to be using the Lash, Lash It Loud mascara. All right, I'm back. I, so yes, I really, really like this mascara. I only do one coat. On mascara usually unless I want something super dramatic but normally I don't want something super dramatic so um, this is the mascara and I just love how it lifts and separates and it doesn't clump up and for me it just coats every single lash in black it's super affordable really really happy about it this here is the cream lip gloss in Mauve Wives. This shade here, I got it to replace a shade that is sort of turning, and I think it already turned actually, I may have tossed it out. Um, a shade I actually really loved, Dose of Colors Messy Bun. I adored that shade, but it, I just had had it so long and it just sort of started to split on me. So I got this sort of mauve shade in hopes that it was like messy buns and it is so i was super happy to see that and this has the same applicator as the other gloss bombs but you see it has a lot of shine a lot of pigment it has a pretty mauvey pink tone and i just i love the shade of gloss and a dose of colors messy buns is this shade too so if it's easier for you to get messy buns. I'm just telling you, it's a great freaking shade. Like, I, yeah. So this, this is very much like it. I love it. Um, I am not the biggest fan of the scent. To me, it smelled a little like bubblicious or bubble yum, bubble gum at first. And it dissipates. It, it's, it's not disgusting or anything. And tr trust me, I, there are products that I think are disgusting, but this is not one of them. The scent it's, it's okay. But again, it doesn't linger forever and it doesn't bother me. So this is this color. I love this. I love this. I love this whole look. This whole look is making me really happy with the glittery shadow and everything, but I am going to try on the long wear lipstick because I have been wanting to get this since it came out. It's been years, years, um, but I'm not a long wear lipstick gal, 
But thanks to coronavirus, I'm trying to embrace it because I really miss wearing lipstick, but in New York City, we're still wearing masks everywhere. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna like wear lipstick in my house and then have to put on a mask to run out and get it all transferred in. I mean, you should see the first few masks in my life were, are disgusting. I basically had to burn them. Um, so I have been experimenting with long wear lipsticks. And so I was very curious with this and I love this vibrant color. And so, yeah. And I have already tried this, though I haven't worn it under a mask yet. I know right now, this is like, what are you doing, lady? You've applied this in all sorts of ways. You only dip once with this product. It's very oily and thin. I love this. This is such a good red. I'll let it dry down for a minute. It's like the easiest application easiest application it's really really thin it feels like just oil going on your lips so you just want to put on a little bit and kind of move it around um, not go like sort of the way I did with concentrating more on the inner rim and then lining out the lips afterwards you could of course use a lip liner if you wanted to I'm just not a lip liner person I think this red is just fantastic this is like the universal red. I'm, I feel silly because they had on their site a mini version of this and a mini version of the fuchsia, more fuchsia pink color, and I would have loved to have them both. So sad that I didn't think this through, but I also thought maybe I was gonna love this red so much that I was actually gonna go through it, but who's ever gone through a red lipstick? I don't know. The decisions you make while shopping, what can you do? So this is the look. I feel like this is a very, very glammy glam look. I am going to use some setting spray. I'm using my glow recipe. Put my hair down, I just washed it. Yeah, so I really, really enjoy this. Um, everything is really a success for me. Now I'm, I'm even gonna maybe move this into my success category, but I'm gonna keep using it for the next week. So I just wanna make sure. I love all the lip products. I love the cheek products. I want to collect like every single shade in the in this in this cream cheek collection because I love the formula so much. I really really love the eyeliner. I would be curious to see what other shades they had in that. Other products that have caught my eye that I haven't invested in is a real highlighter, like another one of those maybe kilowatt highlighters. I haven't invested in that would love to eventually um other lip products i would love to try another one of these in a different color i never have tried the matte moselle and i didn't like the slip shine lipsticks at least not the shade that i had picked up i already decluttered that one because it was too patchy but yeah i think this is pretty pretty successful pretty successful this is what what I like, this is sort of the makeup look I go for, especially if it's a bold lip. Using the Diamond Balm on the eyes, I think I just saved this product for me. Otherwise, it would have been chucking it out. Although, I mean, on camera and from far away, this gloss is spectacular. <laughs> I feel very fancy right now. I feel very fancy and now I'm gonna have to cook dinner but I feel very fancy so far. So I hope you enjoyed that. I love playing with new makeup, even though I'm trying to rein in the expenses. I've had a few blips. This wasn't a blip because I had a huge gift card <laughs> to Fenty, um, but I have had some other blips because sales are rolling in and sometimes late at night when I'm feeling a little down, You know, you know that feeling. So I will be going over those products in another video. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this one. Consider subscribing. Chat below. I love to hear from you and we'll talk soon. Okay.
Bye.